So today I'm talking about a P060E code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P060E code? Well, it's an engine oil pressure control circuit stuck on. And so what does this mean? Well, basically engines have an oil pressure sensor that's just reporting to the computer what the engine oil pressure is. But when you get this P060E code, this oil pressure sensor is reporting to the computer that the oil pressure is not correct, that it's either too high or too low, that it's not inside the range that it's supposed to be. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And some things to note about this code is that while most vehicles are going to have a single stage oil pump, some vehicles nowadays, they can have a two stage oil pump. So keep in mind, there can be some differences sometimes on what's going on with the vehicle. Also, another thing to keep in mind with this code is that if the engine oil pressure is low, that can cause engine damage. And so if you do get this code, it's best to troubleshoot it right away and not run the vehicle too much, especially if you hear any kind of engine noise. And this will be anything like the timing chain rattling, the lifters might be tapping, or possibly a knocking noise. But just keep in mind that if the engine oil pressure is low, that can cause engine damage. And so what would be some possible causes of a P060E code? Well, the first thing to go and do is go check your engine oil because if the engine oil is low or if it's really dirty or possibly the wrong engine oil was added, then that's going to cause problems. And so the first thing to go and do is check your engine oil. And the next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue going on with the variable valve timing components. Not all vehicles have variable valve timing, but most newer vehicles will have it. And this is going to be something like a bad variable valve timing solenoid or possibly a bad actuator or phaser. Engine oil flows through all these variable valve timing components. The computer can adjust the timing by controlling the oil pressure flowing through these components. When there is a bad variable valve timing components, by far the most common thing is a bad solenoid. Usually when there is a bad variable valve timing component, you're going to get other codes that point to that component. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad variable valve timing component. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad oil pump. The oil pump is what's pumping oil through the whole system. And so if something goes wrong with this oil pump, if it's failed for some reason, then that's going to cause problems. So the next thing on the list is going to be a bad oil pump. The next thing on the list is going to be a bad oil pressure sensor or the wiring going to it. Keep in mind that if there's any kind of problem inside the wiring, then that could cause the same symptom as a bad sensor. So there's some different ways to go about seeing if there is a bad oil pump or a bad oil pressure sensor. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool that has live data inside of it, then you can go inside there, select the engine oil pressure sensor, and with the engine off and not running, that sensor shouldn't be reading anything. Quite often when those engine oil pressure sensors go bad, with the engine off, they'll be given some kind of high reading or something like that. So for example, if you check what the engine oil pressure is and the engine's not running and you're getting like this, like 129 PSI, then very likely there is some kind of issue going on with that pressure sensor. Some mechanics will attach an oil pressure gauge, usually right where that oil pressure sensor is, and then check to see what the oil pressure is. And this can help troubleshoot whether or not you got a bad oil pump or you got a bad sensor. So for example, this gauge was telling you that the engine oil pressure was correct, but that sensor is telling you that it's not, then very likely you got a bad sensor. But if that sensor is showing that the engine oil pressure is low, and the gauge is also saying that it's low, then there might be some kind of problem with that oil pump. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad oil pressure sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's something blocking the oil flowing through the engine. And so this is going to be something like a lot of sludge inside the engine, or possibly the wrong oil filter was installed during an oil change. If you recently got your engine oil changed and you got this code, then it's possible they use the wrong oil filter or the wrong engine oil. And this engine oil sludge is usually from engines where the engine oil hasn't been changed regularly. Quite often they have high miles and the owner didn't go in to get the oil changed when they should. And so they get a lot of buildup on them and sludge. But the last thing on the list is going to be that something's blocking the oil flow going through the engine. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P06DE code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.